Three legs that we have out here that's going to be working DC. You always use two sets of contacts and you put them in series because it gives more air gap. If you put them in parallel, it doesn't do any good. But by putting the contacts in series, instead of, if the gap is this far, by putting two of them in series, then the gap is that far. So you won't burn up the contacts as fast. That's the reason for doing on DC, putting contacts in series. So. Anyway, the way it works, when you hit the joystick to the left, it energizes this coil. When this coil energizes, it comes down there and closes these two. So current then flows through. Now the L stop is on a set of two normally closed contacts. So it'll come down here and it'll energize the solenoid left. And the gun will start moving to the left. When the gun comes all the way over to the sensor, the sensor then will close and then we'll energize the left stop relay. This is out there on the you know, gun stand. Slip. When it energizes the stop relay, it opens these two contacts and drops the solenoid out. Okay, so the gun stops. And if you leave it there, that, that, that stop relay is going to stay picked up. But the minute he moves it back to the right, the stop relay, now this contact opens, the stop relay drops out. Contacts close back, it's moving to the right. So, because you can tell that it goes to the right, it energizes the R, the R, okay, the, the R picks up, it's going to close, and that's what these are. When the R picks up, it's going to close these two contacts, it's going to go through the normally close on the sensor, on the uh, stop relay, it's going to pick up the right solenoid. It'll swing all the way to the right. As soon as it hits the sensor to the right, it's going to energize the right stop relay. It's going to open these contacts, the gun will stop. So that's how it works for the left and the right. And it's the exact same thing for the trap as it is the drift. You just got a different set of relays and stuff. So there's a lot more wire in there than what you think. Because it has to do all that. <laughs> yeah. About six years ago, I tried to replace all that uh, mechanical relay, yeah. electronic relay. Yeah. You know, that no problem with that. Right. Uh-uh, they don't approve my idea. Yeah. You know, I'm talking about uh, solid state relay. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. But that's the all, all the pit cars work right there. Every, every one we got. Now, there may not be wired the same. Physically wired the same, but electrically, that's how they work. Okay. And the problem with everything we got is nobody has a standard, so you know it may have different colored wires, but it has to do that to do what you want it to do. Well, I asked the Foskin guys when they're building these boxes, 